What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw an old person, an old person's face. So let's get started. So since we're drawing a face, we're just going to do what we normally do when I'm drawing a face. Um, first things first, I'm going to start off with a circle. Like that and let's draw it at a three quarter view. So our center line is going to start up at the top of the circle, like right about there. And we're going to make it facing towards the left. So the center line is going to be bent towards the left. Okay, and then now let's complete the face by making the face shape. Well, actually, let's make a line on this circle about three quarters of the way down. Because we're going to be constructing the entire face, which means we got to add the eyes. And I want a line for the eyes to lie on, which is what this is. And on the end of this line, we're going to draw our face shape. And just complete that. The ear goes all the way over here, which is just a C shape. Ear hole in it looks like a letter H. And then the neck, pretty self explanatory. And just a couple lines to draw the shirt. And there we go. And then now I'm going to draw the eyes on the face. So I'm just going to make a couple semicircle shapes up here. So this semicircle shape is going to be on one side of the center line, which is over here closest to the edge of the face. The other one is going to be slightly larger or wider actually. And it's going to be on the other side of the center line and closer to the ear. I'm going to have them looking towards the right. And just draw in some pupils. I'm going to quickly draw in the nose. And then just a small mouth. And then a couple of arched lines that kind of match the contours of the eyes for the eyebrows. Like that. Okay, and now let's uh, darken these contours of the face. Okay, so we got our face drawn. Now let me take my needed eraser. I'm going to barely erase these lines because we're going to be drawing over top of this entire sketch. So what we're going to do now is first start off at the top, right above the eyebrows. We're going to be drawing some forehead lines and it just goes straight across the face like this. Or well, straight across the forehead actually. Just going to be a couple lines getting smaller in width as we're going up like this forehead lines okay and then let's fully draw in the eyebrows up here so they're gonna be thick as they get closer to the center line here and then they're gonna kind of taper at the end and what I mean by taper is the eyebrows are gonna come to a point so it's not gonna be as thick as this portion over here it's gonna be thick over here and then come to a point as it goes away from the center line same thing on the other side. I'm going to make it thick over here and then have it taper at the very end, closest to the edge of the face. Like that. Okay, and now let's draw in the eyes. So just follow our guidelines, or well, the lines that we just erased. Okay, and then now we're going to make some lines above the eyes because those are the eyelids. So we're going to make some wrinkles up there. Just going to be a series of lines that kind of match the shape of the eyes, kind of like the eyebrows, but they're going to get smaller as we get closer to the eyebrows like this. So we're going to match the contours 
of the eyes. Make a slightly less wide line like that right above it. And then the width will get smaller. Draw that in like that. Okay, and now we're gonna draw some crow lines which go right in between the eyes and the ears. So just a couple of lines like this for an old person. Okay, and then now below the eyes we're gonna draw some bags. So it's pretty much the same thing as these lines, just flipped. So just make the opposite versions of those lines. And in fact, we can make it look like a bag. So we're gonna start close to this line. Then we're gonna, and you see how much of a distance it is between this line and where we stopped at for this line? That's what we're gonna do for the lines we're gonna draw for the bags. So I'm gonna make lines just like that. And they're gonna slightly get smaller in width. Like that, okay? And then let's do the same thing for the other eye. So, upside down letter U shape specifically, and then create a bag from that. And since this eye is underneath the nose, you just gotta work around the nose. Like that. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of shading over here because there does tend to be some shadow underneath and also up here where we did the other ones okay and now he's already starting to look like an old person more like a sick person too but an old person so I'm just gonna add some wrinkles on the nose too actually give him a different shape of a nose Make it look like a shoe, so I'm gonna make that a little bit rounded. Nostril. Yeah, so that kinda looks like a shoe. Now let's draw in the wrinkles that are down here by the cheeks. So they're gonna come off of the nose and just come around the mouth like this. So right off of this nostril, Gonna make a small curve that goes off of it. And then the same thing on the other side, which we kinda won't see. We won't see this nostril on the other side because the face is at a three quarter view. So it's just, it's just gonna come off of that, okay? And then I'm gonna actually make this into a circle. So I'm gonna slightly draw in a circle. Okay, and we're actually gonna alter the face shape too. So. We're gonna follow this circle on the face shape. And we're gonna come back to it. Like this. And then follow the face shape back up to the ear. Like that. And then we can erase the circle that we drew and erase these pencil lines inside of the circle in terms of the face shape. And let's draw everything else in. Okay, and then I'm gonna just add a couple lines right here for the cheeks. Indicate that there's some wrinkles there. And then we won't see much on this side, but I will try to get some in there, some wrinkles. Like that. And then I'm also going to add some wrinkles onto the neck. So here and here. Just right along the neck. It's kind of like you're drawing the texture on a tree, kind of. This isn't the way I do a tree, but, you know, it kind of makes sense what I'm saying here. And then we can just draw in the rest of the neck. I'm going to add a couple spots there. draw in the shirt okay 
and then we could just make any other adjustments that we want to make so I'm gonna just uh, extend these uh, forehead lines a little bit and then we don't have to do much with the ear really um, okay and then let's draw in the rest of the face oh and I forgot to do the mouth too just draw in whatever mouth expression you want and then I'm just gonna add another line right beneath it to um, show that that's the chin and then we can just draw in the rest of the face I'm gonna add a couple of distortions to the face to help make it look more like an old person and then the rest of these contours that I have I can just draw those in there's not much not much else needs to be done here and then to help fill this negative space that I have up here, I can just draw in a couple spots. Those can be moles or um, skin blocks or whatever they can be. They can be whatever, but I like to add those when drawing an old person. All right, and there you go. That's how you draw an old person. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.